When the TPI model came out in 2018, I was interested in converting it back to a carburetor. But unfortunately, I was unable to try to realize this project because many parts need to be changed, and I can say that the project is very expensive and complicated. I also had no idea what all had to be done on a TPI in order for it to work with carburetor. There was a lot of thinking about it and I asked myself questions and in the end I gave it all up. I know there are other people like me who would like to convert their TPI to a carburetor. I will help you in this project with the help of my friends. They are Enduro Builds from Instagram and Damian's Lot. You can see their work on their social media. Do you also want to throw it away? If you want then this is the video for you. Stay till the end to see the list of parts you need to replace to achieve this. For me, the carburetor is working much better than the TPI, but this smart carburetor is something perfect, there is no better setup. We can slowly start with the parts, and if you like this video, support it. First you have to decide if you are going to keep the stock cylinder. You will need to plug and seal the holes for injectors, or buy a cylinder from a 2019 XC or TX. Even though it's more expensive, we prefer to buy the 2019 carburetor cylinder because we don't want to risk an air leak on the TPI cylinder. You can use either stock parts off the 2019 XC or TX bikes or aftermarket for some parts. Since the power supply differs between the TPI and the carburetor, it is necessary to replace the stator, flywheel, wiring harness, voltage regulator, CDI box, CDI harness, ignition coil, spark plug cap and battery box. Yes you heard right, the list of parts is very long and if all the parts are bought new, this project will cost a lot. Of course, all parts can be found secondhand for better prices. And when you think that's it, no it's not. There are still many things that need to be replaced. It is necessary to replace the tank because the fuel supply is different. Since you no longer have a throttle body and you have a carburetor, you have to replace the reed flange and the air boot in order for the carburetor to fit. On the TPI model, the throttle response is different from the carburetor, so you also need to replace throttle housing and the cable to get everything right. If you want to save some money, you can use your cylinder, piston, and head but you will need to close the holes for the injectors, the temperature sensor, and also the hole for the pressure sensor. The pressure sensor is used to adjust the TPI according to the altitude, but since you no longer have a TPI, now you have a carburetor, you will need to manually adjust it for the temperature and altitude where you ride. You return to the jetting and the work around them. If you have additional questions about this project, feel free to leave a comment and I will be happy to help you. Why would you remove advanced technology like TPI and put back the carburetor? I don't need to explain that in details because my subscribers understand it. The carburetor is much safer, the engine lasts longer and it's simpler and cheaper to maintain. Also there are less parts that can break. Easier to repair and gives more grip which leads to easier to ride an extreme enduro. It has many advantages and only one drawback is that you have to adjust the carburetor if you change the area and altitude where you ride. Maybe it's not a bad thing. And with different jetting you can change the fuel mixture as you want richer or leaner, which affects the engine's performance and power. Whereas with TPI you have no control over it and you need your dealer for everything. A TPI bike is different to ride for sure. Some will like it while some will prefer how a carb bike feels. I find the carb puts the power to the ground much more efficiently than a TPI. They pull like a tractor. Jetting a carb is easy. You can learn it with testing. 
Issues with the TPI models are few. However, if there is a problem, it can be hard to diagnose and fix it sometimes. Sherco and Beta are at least two companies that are dedicated to keeping the carb for as long as they possibly can. Do you support them in that? Thank you for watching the video, and if you want to support the channel, you can visit the shop.